Dude, what happened on the gate? Didn't you say earlier in the week it was going to be a $2 million yeah. gate? It only be when they just handed me the thing right now, I said, are you fucking shitting me? It's 1.5? Swear to God, I just said that walking in here. Do you That's know what funny. happened? Like why there was a discrepancy? No. I just found out right when I was walking in when he just handed me that sheet. Mm. With a Good question, though. With the Tito stepping down as Cyborg's manager, does that really help open up things here for her in the UFC? It's not. T listen, it's not that Tito. Tito being her manager was whatever. Tito's just. Tito's not a manager. You know, Tito managed his own career into the dirt. You know what I mean? It, it, it's. It, I mean, the things that he said, the the infamous amazing press conference that he held that day. The, I mean, his press conference is what did all the damage to her. You know, it's not about it being Tito. Tito Ortiz and I have had. A lovely relationship for a very long time and he still fought in the UFC and you know we still did business he's not a businessman he's not a guy that should be running anybody's career he wasted how long now has it been for her he literally wasted in, in this job in, in this profession you have no time to waste you have to jump on every opportunity and make as much as money as you can make I'm, I'm assuming like he wasted like two years of her life and two years of her career but it sounded like, you know, earlier in the week you, you were kind of against Cyborg, but tonight it doesn't sound like you're I'm at least... Against, it's not that I'm against Cyborg. It's, it's, it's that she, she, she's, been, she's been put in this box. Tito built this box and stuffed her in there and really hurt her bad. If she goes to 135 pounds, she will die. A doctor said it, a doctor did this, a doctor did that. Who wants to, who wants to ever fight first at 135? Not me. But she's not on your pay-no-mind list. I mean, if she can get to 135, test clean, obviously. Yeah, let's see. If she stays clean, she gets a couple fights at 135, she's healthy, she's safe, and fights that matter. You don't just get a couple of fights at 135 and come in and step over every girl in the UFC and then get a chance to fight Ronda. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. What did you think? Because, you know, Ronda admitted herself she was worried about pay-per-views. She said, you know, maybe this was too quick of a turnaround for me and people didn't get to miss me. What do you think? In retrospect, did, did it feel this big as weak? Did, I mean, I did she have awesome. as much media? I think it's awesome that she feels that way. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the main event when nothing went off tonight? Did you see the, the building? Um, Will Smith flew in here. They, him, him and his wife came in and they wanted to meet Ronda first thing when they got here. That's what they came here for. Flew in from L.A. to meet Ronda. Yeah. So, yes. The answer is yes. Tell, tell me in the history of combat sports, two women headlining a card that did what tonight does. Care if we do if we do 750 pay-per-view buys, it's still the biggest women's fight ever. What are your thoughts uh, on and this gate? Even where it is, is still a quarter million dollars bigger than her last gate. Thoughts on uh, Daniel Cormier right now in the light heavyweight division. Obviously, before he dropped, there was a lot of anticipation about him possibly being a, a very quick title contender. He's already had words with John Jones. Now, he's saying, you know, if somebody gets injured, I'll fill in and that sort of thing. He said he thought he'd have to fight again, but it does seem like there's so much momentum behind him. Maybe in your mind, you'd certainly like to see him back in there sooner than later. I agree. I thought he looked awesome tonight, you know, against a guy that everybody, uh, you know, was hyping up and talking about, and he, he treated him the way he needed to treat that guy, and he did it. You know, there's a lot of guys that can go in there. We've seen it many times where there's fights where a guy goes in against a tougher, less known guy and doesn't come out looking very good, you know? It's like, well, he didn't look good in that fight. Well, how's he going to look against this guy? He treated that guy exactly the way he needed to treat him. He looked fantastic. Just going back to Nick Diaz for a moment. So obviously, he was in here earlier. He did a little scrum. And he was saying that you know he only wants to come back for, to fight for the title. Is he a viable contender if he agrees with you to from Nick Diaz? I don't even Nick Diaz called and asked for tickets. I don't know. I, I, we haven't even heard from Nick Diaz. It's not even worth talking about. He hasn't fought. He hasn't wanted a fight, and he's he's not even in the in, in the he picture. Sells fights, he sells pay per view, doesn't he? Right. That is the one thing he does do. Yeah. Right. So so that he should be able to walk right into a title fight. I'm asking you. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll do it. <laughs> hey, Dan, you, you joked about everybody saying that the end fights were too quick tonight, but in the beginning when there were all the decisions on the prelims and it was starting to, to look like it might be the same as the last two weeks, did you have any concerns no, at all? The second fight of the night was a knockout. Was yeah. Great, but the rest yeah. Were Oh, I don't fight. What are you going to do? You can't, you can't sweat that stuff. You can't go crazy about that stuff. It's a live sporting event. Guess what? The last Super Bowl was one of the worst football games I've ever seen. It's supposed to be the best. You know, it doesn't happen that way all the time. We, we were on a crazy, unbelievable streak 
over the last like year and however long where every fight was just absolutely insane and then the next one was even crazier you get heart hunt and bigfoot and then the next one you know it just it doesn't roll that way all the time you know we had we had a couple fights with some decisions and now tonight all the fights were you know some good quick knockouts it's going to happen did both ways. Did, did the new bonus structure present any new challenges for you in terms of determining who would get those bonuses? I mean, Not at all. Is it working the way you'd like it to? Because obviously there's going to be some people eligible now who weren't. Money goes out the door. That's that's how it works. That's what we. But you've got the option now of rewarding some people who wouldn't have qualified prior. Just because of there's there's a ten million dollar pot this year, ten million bucks. I want every dime of that ten million to go out to the fighters. I don't want there to be a situation where there's, you know, there was no submission, there was no this, there was no that. In this 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 setup, it's it's impossible for a bonus not to go out, unless unless the fight sucks so bad one night that we're just like, you know what? Did you guys keep stats of, of how often that happened last year, where, where you didn't have a submission or you didn't have a knockout? It didn't seem like it was no, that often. It only happened a couple times. Yeah. But as I started playing with this thing and started to realize how much money. Because now we're doing so many fights, how much money it was? It's almost 10 million bucks. It's like 9.8 million. I want 9.8 million of that to go out the door, every dime of it. So was it your call to change the structure? Was that your? Was that kind of your yeah, idea? It was, yeah, it was. It was me and Lorenzo. Yeah. The other day we were mentioning how like Phil Davis has been waiting for a fight for him. Now that Cormier is free, I mean, would would a fight like that make sense? I mean, does that make sense? Yeah, good. Maybe. Yep, anything's possible. We'll see what happens. What do you think about Anderson already getting back and working out? And, and, and do you think he might be rushing it, or do you think he's doing things right on target? He even showed me his bone tonight, right, his legs. And he said, this is, this is actually crazy. Look at all the bone growth that he has in eight weeks. He's like, sometimes you don't see that kind of bone growth in people over a couple of years. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So pretty optimistic that he'll be back? The doctor was, yeah. What kind of timeline were they giving him? Are you aware of the timeline? That he could fight by the end of the year. Do they leave that rod in? Huh? Do they, do they leave that rod in his, his leg? Do no, I think, I think they have to take the rod out. Yeah. I don't know that. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. I think they do. <laughs> yeah? yeah? There you go. Could you give us an idea just to follow, follow up on that? Oh, they did? Yeah. The commission told me to keep the rod in. Yeah, I've heard that he, he can go either way, but I don't know if he's made a decision. I think if you take it out, it takes longer to come yeah, back, exactly. so you have to yeah, have another operation. Yeah. Could, you, could you give us an idea, based on that optimistic news, where you're at percentage-wise? You, you mentioned the idea that you know if all things went well, Anderson could come back before the end of the year. I mean, has this news drastically improved your your uh opinion of how quickly yeah, it's, it it's very optimistic yeah you know we'll see what happens i mean anything could happen he could hurt it again in training or you know anything is possible or start training and not feel the same we'll see how it all plays out what do you think We're, the we next have a, we have a meeting with him on wednesday that's what i was gonna ask. what do you think the next milestone is to back to his house on wednesday and just do some patties anything some patties patties is doing great he, he, he's he's on schedule um healing well and he's doing fantastic uh, with uh, Jose Aldo is going to be the next one? Or I don't know. Gonna... I don't know. we got to see how long. You know, it's it's like talking about Kane in Mexico right now. we got to see when these guys heal and when they're ready to fight, and then we'll go from there. One more injury update, if you could. Conor McGregor, how's he coming along? He is coming into L.A. Is he here? Yeah. yeah. So he's in L.A. getting checked out. Good? Yep. All right. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you.